Fans on social media have reacted to a shot by Rory McIlroy that caused him to narrowly miss making an eagle. The Northern Irish golfer teed it up at this week's RBC Heritage, which commenced with its inaugural round on Thursday, April 18. During the tournament's third round on Saturday, April 20, he had a nerve-wracking shot that narrowly missed a hole-out eagle. The PGA Tour shared a video of the golfer's shot on its ex-formerly Twitter account, with the caption, Following the third round of the RBC Heritage, Rory McIlroy settled in a tie for 12th place. He finished in a five-way tie with Bryce Garnett, Chris Kirk, Xander Schoffel, and Thomas Detroy, all with a score of under 10. McElroy started the tournament with a score of 67 in the opening round, making three birdies, an eagle, and a bogey to score four under 67. He began the round with a birdie on the first hole, and then carded an eagle on the fifth. He carded back-to-back -back birdies on the 17th and 18th, and a bogey on the 12th. On Thursday, McElroy played a bogey-free round on Friday with three birdies to score 68, followed by another round of 68 on Saturday. In the third round, the world number two shot four birdies and a bogey on the front nine, adding two bogeys and two birdies on the back nine to score three under. When will Rory McIlroy tee off on Sunday at the RBC Heritage 2024? Rory McIlroy will enter the final round of the RBC Heritage six strokes behind third-round leader Scotty Scheffler. The fourth round of the PGA Tour event will take place on Sun, April 21st, with Kevin Kistner teeing off on the first hole of the Harbortown Golf Links in Hilton Head at 8 o'clock a.m. E.T. McElroy will pair up with Thomas Detroit to start the game at 12.40 p.m. E.T., followed by Xander Schoffel and Chris Kirk, who will tee off at 12.50 p.m. E.T. Scheffler will tee off at 1.55 p.m. E.T. with Sepp Straka. Rory McElroy has played in seven tournaments this season and made the cut. In all of them, recording one top 10 finish and six top 25 finishes. His best performance this season was at the Valero Texas Open, where he finished in solo third place. He also played at the Masters last week and finished in the T22 position.